2024 Summer Olympic opening ceremony is just hours away in Paris. Athletes will be floating down the River Seine on boats and barges instead of the traditional walk into a stadium. Olympic specialist Alex Cabrero joins us live now from Paris. And Alex, it will be a spectacular sight, but a security challenge to say the least. That's right. Paris has certainly been working on the security concerns for opening ceremony, Dini, but I want to show you something back here real quick. I mean, normally we see the Eiffel Tower lit in yellow, but we've been seeing different colors and a kind of a laser show coming out of the Eiffel Tower. Crews are preparing. It's 2 a.m. here in Paris, so opening ceremony is later tonight here in Paris. But uh, yeah, it's certainly quite a show that we've been seeing crews working on in anticipation for opening ceremony. But Dini, yes, you're right. Paris has been preparing for the opening ceremony as far as security for about two Two and a half years now. 45 thousand, yes, thousand police officers and military soldiers are being deployed for opening ceremony alone. Now, closures are all along the Seine River, which is where opening ceremony is going to take place. Those closures began this month, so a lot of places that are normally pretty busy right now are pretty quiet. But what is interesting is this time capsule that we really see in the deal of Paris. She has been doing this for years. You would have to travel. By traveling, you would have to enter. Valeria, who runs tours with Valeria, loves showing off Paris to her customers. You basically, like, destroy the medieval history. Pointing out the little things you might not get in tourism brochures. If you had to look at the facade of this building. But lately, it's definitely been different. Well, it's quiet. There's nobody. There's absolutely nobody. I mean, we had to apply for QR codes to get into this area, which was a challenge. Even though the Notre Dame Cathedral has been closed since 2019 because of a fire, thousands of people a day still gather in the plaza outside to take pictures. But because it's next to the Seine River, where the Olympics opening ceremony is about to take place, the whole area is also basically closed. It's a very interesting experience to be in a quiet Paris, like COVID. Police officers and the military are everywhere, especially along the river, trying to secure an event that has never been done in this way, where athletes from all the countries competing in these games will be on a parade of boats floating for about three and a half miles. It's empty now, but Friday night, it'll be quite busy. But it's also Olympics, so that's pretty amazing to see all these people here and like supporting their own countries and stuff. But Jamie awesome. Hansen and her family are leaving just before the games, but we're happy to see the city in a way most people don't, where it felt like you had it all to yourself. Just making us pay attention in a whole new way. Ornaments, okay, well, ton of it, right? And for some tour guides, a chance to show off Paris, especially to kids. And the furthest one to the right is going to tell you a story of Anne. Have you ever heard of Anne? where there aren't as many distractions. If they learn to look at the details, then we can hope for a better future. Yeah, hope for a better future. She couldn't have said it any better. Now, there are plans to open the Notre Dame this December, which will be a big celebration for Paris. But tomorrow night, well, later tonight, tomorrow night there in Salt Lake, but tonight here in Paris is the big celebration for opening ceremony. Again, they are doing light and laser tests there at the Eiffel Tower, less than 24 hours away now. Now,